here are the Wednesday numbers from Altru Hospital in Grand Forks regarding the COVID surge. They now have 36 COVID patients at Altru, uh, six of them in the ICU. This from Altru uh, spokesperson Annie Bonz Bonzer. Uh, as of today, Wednesday, Altru has expanded into additional beds. Have they seen a additional increase in COVID patients requiring hospitalization? As of Wednesday, they can accommodate up to 50 patients with COVID as our staffing resources allow. This number will remain fluid as we flex to accommodate the needs presented to our hospital. We must remain access accessible to all patients, those with COVID-19 and those with other needs, especially emergent needs such as stroke, heart attack, and trauma. It's imperative that the community understand that they should continue to access appropriate care when they need it. An influx in testing demand is stressing our curbside testing with those appointments uh, scheduling out up to 48 hours. With this, we are seeing patients with less severe COVID-19 uh, symptoms present uh, to our emergency department. Our four express clinic locations are available for care and testing and are accessible on a walk-in basis with our location at Altru Professional Center, open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. We encourage the community to utilize these locations so the emergency department remains accessible for those with more severe care needs. Uh, while Altru is managing the increased need for COVID care and the impact of of community spread on our workforce. This is yet another reminder that the pandemic is here and that residents of our community must continue to take it seriously. We are committed to providing safe, high-quality care for our residents. We ask for the community's help to ensure that we can continue to do so. Residents can assist by wearing a face covering, observing physical distancing, and conducting good hand hygiene. Uh, again, that was from Altru Hospital in Grand Forks. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.